cheese making is uh, not an invention, it's a discovery. And by harnessing uh, local microbiology and by understanding the practices which create the ecology, we're able to produce truly place-based cheeses. My name's Matteo Keeler. I started Jasper Hill in Greensboro, Vermont with my brother Andy. We were really looking to satisfy three core needs. Meaningful work in a place that we love with people that we love. And to us, that's a whole life. There's a linear correlation between microbial diversity and complexity of flavor. And we manage our production on the farm side of our business in order to maximize the microbial diversity because there is a link. It'll really be done. Well, the true answer is it'll never be done. Cheese is an alive food. We are taking in milk directly as it is from the farm, changeable season by season and even week by week. And we are adapting to the milk. So we're saying, what do we have to do in the cheese vat? On big scale cheese making, industrial cheese making, it's actually precisely the opposite. They are taking the milk and standardizing it so that they can make cheese exactly the same every day. The microbial ecology of raw milk is the sum of the practices on a farm. And ultimately, we're managing that microbiology to maximize the potential of the cheeses that we produce and to create a link to, to place. Pasteurization severs that link, is an apology for the practices on a farm. These native pastures and hay fields that are a mix of bluegrass and fescue and orchard grass and clovers and some alfalfa and you know these different species that give rise to a, a very flavorful milk rather than just feeding the cows corn or corn and soybeans, a monoculture. So I think the biodiversity of the field leads into the biodiversity of the milk. Now rumination is pretty interesting in the fact that not only is it just to break down fiber, but it's really an indicator of her mental well-being. Wow. <laughs> Seriously, they've, they've done brainwave patterns and cows during rumination are quite similar to our REM sleep. If we can keep her comfortable, the rumen is healthy, her microbes are healthy, and together in that symbiotic relationship, they make more milk protein and more milk fat. The more cheese, the better the cheese. We are taking milk and using traditional tried and true food preservation techniques. These are techniques that have been used for centuries and centuries. We see slow food as embodying the fundamental principles that connect uh, real food with real people, real places, and with consumers who are voting with their forks. An association with the principles of slow food and a resistance to industrialization, the homogenization, and the pasteurization of both the product and the culture is leading us to a place where we are able to produce something that's unique, special, and that's truly connected to the landscape. Bailey Hazen Blue is by far the most complicated cheese we produce. There's so many things that need to go right in order for this cheese to be delicious. And when this cheese is at its best, it, it really is a whole community of people working together in order to make this happen. Valley, valley